Now let us talk about date manipulation functions. So I have already covered type conversion. You just have to say cast and values from the columns and then that type to which you want to convert like into float, string, etc. Now let us talk about date manipulation. So already we have seen substring to extract the date from here. There is another approach also. And if you look at the functions, there are several of them. You can actually list those things here, arithmetic functions, which means you can add dates, dates to it, and you can get a new date from the existing date. So they are nothing but date add, and there are few more. And then format function, which is very important. And then unique to Unix timestamp to database timestamp conversion functions. It can be to or from. Now go through the list and understand what all functions we have. So for current date, we have some things like current underscore date, which will return only date, and then current underscore timestamp, which will include the timestamp also. And then date add and date sub extraction functions. Extraction functions are getting uh, year, month, date, etc. Okay, they are extraction functions. Format functions are date format. That is the main function. And uh, conversion functions are two underscore unix underscore timestamp, unix timestamp, etc. And also you have date. Let let me go through the list of functions. There are many of these months between next day, previous day. Okay, there is no previous day. Only there is next day. But I think it takes the negative value also to give the previous date also. You have last day, but there is a very important function called trunk, day of month. There are many such functions. You can just search based upon our requirement. I will be covering these important functions. You should be able to explore. You, you can use common sense and search for particular uh, keyword based on the context. And most likely will be getting whatever you are required. So quite often we might want to get the data which are transacted today. So instead of hard coding uh, for any day, whenever the query run, it should be able to determine that the data which we are trying to retrieve belongs to the date which is today. For that we have current date. You can see how the data is represented. So this is the default format of our date. Y Y Y Y hyphen M M hyphen D D. You have to use small D. Capital D have a special meaning, and I will explain at a bit later point in time. So as long as you have string in this format, you can also use apply to date, and you can convert a string into a date. So that being said, this is the default date. You can also get the timestamp by saying select current timestamp and you will get the time also. Now where you will be using current date, typically you will be using current date in the where clause. Okay, let's assume that orders have today's data also. And if I just want to understand a bit more about today's data, I can say where order date equal to, I can actually say to date of order date equal to current date and it will return the rows as of now there are no no that which matches this criteria that way it is returning nothing you can also validate that the dates are extracted from order date by saying two underscore date order underscore date earlier we have used substring and also split to get the date part you can also use two date order date as long as the date form date of whatever string is in this format it will extract the date part and the format of these two things is similar most likely it will work. Let us see from orders limit 10. And you can see here, you can use to date. As long as the string matches valid timestamp or valid date, you can convert it into a date part, which will return like this. Okay, so that is about to date. Now, typically what we'll be doing is we might want to get the previous day or the next day. You can say select current date. So quite often what we want to do, let's say i want to generate revenue on daily basis for the past three days so what i have to do i am supposed to get only the orders which belongs to yesterday and then two days before that so we will be typically applying something like this search star from orders where two underscore date order date between you can use between date add current date comma four so we'll exclude today's date and typically uh, we might want to report for past three days on daily basis and that has to be sent out to the executors what we'll be doing we have to run query something like this to extract the data select star from orders where two underscore date between date at current date comma minus four will give date which is four days before and then end date at current date comma minus one again there is no data matching criteria that's why it returns nothing but you can say select date at current date minus four and most of these functions we use in the where clause while generating the reports not in the select clause now you see we are trying to get the data from 2018 june 15th through 2018 june 18th 
and uh, we can join with order items and uh, whatever orders that fall in this date range we can get the revenue for those dates that's how you can use data add you can also use date underscore sub directly instead of saying date underscore add current date comma minus four you can say date underscore sub current date comma minus four and then date underscore sub current date comma one when you pass sub you have to pass the positive values and it will subtract those many days from your date date difference if you have two dates and if you want to get the difference between the two you can use date diff and it will give the number of days between them so you can say select date diff 2018 06 15th and then 2018 02 10th okay it's date diff there is no underscore you can see there is 125 days difference if you want to get number of months between them you can say months underscore between it is four and a half months difference between 4.15 months difference between those two dates Okay, that is about months between. These are some of the examples of arithmetic functions on date.